Tony, I will be retiring in a few years and would rather not have any debt in retirement. We have a pretty low mortgage rate on our home of around 3%, so not sure if it is best to pay it off or not. What say you? Again, this show is geared towards savers. This is not a show with investors and speculators. So let's just go with 3%, okay? As we record this show in February, or January of 2024, uh, interest rates have spiked. They've gone up. A home mortgage, Aaron, you said you were getting ready to refinance. Was it the 7% range? Yeah, it's around seven, yeah. Uh, okay, so this person may be locked in a rate of 3% several years ago. I gotta admit, that is a low rate. In fact, we could take that same amount of money and earn an, a, a MIGA, multi-year guaranteed annuity, well over 5% as we record this show. But the point is not the interest rate, it's the cash flow needed. So let's just say the loan payment. So remember folks, retirement planning is cash flow. It's not even really budgeting, all right? So let's just say whatever that loan was, this person, even though it's 3%, the principal and interest to pay back that loan is $1,500 a month. Now that's money after tax. So that means before tax, okay, we need to pull out, let's say the only place we can get it is their tax infested IRA. We got to pull out $2,000 a month, pay the taxes on it to net 1,500. So if all this is is about cash flow, if we could eliminate certain things, if we eliminated that, now granted we might have to use current assets to do it. We have to look at the different assets you have, but if we could eliminate that, that's $2,000 a month after tax, or $1,500 a month after tax, we can spend on something else. Enjoy ourselves, travel, whatever. So a lot of people, if you have this IRA sitting over here, that's what we would do. If we're managing that, we're going to make some tax considerations on whether we pull more and more money out from there, maybe even have a Roth or some after-tax money. We're going to try to keep those tax brackets in check. But in many cases, a lot of savers like the idea of paying it off. It's not as much economical, although it does have economic effects when you consider cash flow, it's more psychological. So I can summarize it this way. Of all the people I've ever recommend paying off their houses, I've never had anybody come back in retirement. Now I'm talking about into retirement and say, man, I wish I hadn't paid that off. All of them have been glad because I think they understand that cash flow is a bigger issue than the economics of a particular loan you might have. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.